Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. I just uh, moved over to this simulator uh, in the past week and it's been a learning process uh, for sure. One of the things that happened to me today was I was flight planning. I was going to fly from Boston to uh, San Francisco. So I you know, opened up uh, flight simulator and I went to world this is world here this is where you uh, begin with your flight planning so I go to world and uh, let me move to daytime here so it's a little bit easier to see I go to world and I want to fly from San Francisco to or Boston to San Francisco so I come in and I, I do my flight planning I, you know, put in the ICAO for Boston, and it comes up on the list here. Uh, here we go, and I chose it, and I chose my parking spot, and I'll just pick a parking spot here. I chose my parking spot, and then I went into um, uh, the arrival airport section here, and I did San Francisco. And there's San Francisco, and my parking spot when I get to San Francisco I'll just pick that for instance and notice here it's got Boston that's my departure and then San Francisco okay and it's got these waypoints here these are at San Francisco these are waypoints on the approach into uh, the runway uh, which is uh, 28 right that I, that I was going to land on you can see the uh, line here direct route Okay, but I want to do a full-blown flight plan. So I come over here in this section here where it says v or VFR, direct GPS, pull down and I say high altitudes. I want to use high altitudes. When I, the moment I do that, these waypoints jump into the flight plan. Okay, there they are right there. You see them right there. All the way to San Francisco all the way down we can see the routes here right along the continent from the east coast to west coast all the way from boston to san francisco so then uh, what, what i did is now i want to pick my departure procedure a departure procedure is a route that you take from the airport to keep things organized when aircraft are taking off so my departure that I wanted was uh, from uh, runway 22 left, and it is the Highland departure, so I chose it. And it drops in all of the waypoints for the Highland departure. Highland being the transition out of the departure procedure to in route. And then for San Francisco, I want to do the diamond arrival and to uh, runway 28 right. So there's diamond 5, 28 right. And that is the reverse of a departure. It's, it's the route you take into the uh, approach phase of the, um, the landing at an airport. Again, to keep traffic organized. And approach ILS 28 right. So I did that everything I'm thinking everything's fine and so I go fly and it's gonna drop me into the aircraft let that load up here uh, it takes a little bit to load it up it's doing a lot of stuff in the background uh, but you can see the quality of the graphics here on this screen right here showing you just how realistic it looks in this simulator far better than than i've seen in anything else so again when i was deciding to move to another simulator away from uh, flight simulator 10 i chose microsoft flight simulator 2020 and this is it right here so it's still loading up uh, the aircraft then when i got into the aircraft i said okay let me do let me bring the sim brief uh, flight plan into uh, the FMC, and that's the flight plan that will we'll fly. 
not thinking anything about this upper flight plan that I've created in, uh, in MSFS. Not thinking anything about it. So I'm going to click ready to fly. Drops me into the airplane. And so we put on power on the aircraft so we can get the, F or the uh, FMC fired up. So I'm going to call for power. And there we are. So now powers, uh, a power car is being delivered to the aircraft right now. Let's jump outside real quick. And you can see there it is right there. The truck just delivered a power unit to uh, the aircraft. And there it is right there. So power is hooked up. Let me go back inside the aircraft here. So now I'm going to power up the airplane and bring the battery on. And we have uh, auxiliary power. We got forward external power and aft external power on. So now my FMC is fired up. That's down here. Six. That's here. Now, I fly the heavy mod, the heavy modification of the Boeing 787-10. Gives some extra features. One of those features, if I go to heavy, and then go to um oh i'm i'm uh, i'm wrong here uh if i go to route i can request a flight plan from simbrief now this is probably a different flight plan that is sitting there for me to download let's see what it's going to download here okay so this is the Boston to San Francisco flight plan. So now, what do I have, people? I got two flight plans sitting there for the flight management computer to look at. Now, here's what here's what happened to me, and this is weird. So I got these two flight plans in here right now. So I this system LNAV right here, lateral navigation. It looks at each waypoint in the flight plan from departure all the way to arrival, and including in the en route phase. And it flies the aircraft to each one of the waypoints that are in the flight plan. I'm going to open up a panel here, this Navigraph panel. Open that up. And get that going. So Navigraph is um, a uh, movie map, and it's got charts in it. You get charts for all the airports. You get charts for um, the, the departure phase, and you can see the in route phase, all of that. Uh, so let me center on the where the aircraft's sitting, the sitting, and then go to world map. And um, I'm going to overlay the departure, the Highland 5 departure, on the map. Okay, so here's what happened. Remember, I got two flight plans that the FMC is looking at. Everything is fine right now until I start flying. So here's my here's my departure phase. Remember what I said about departure it is an organized path away from the airport. So that traffic is organized. I'm taking off from runway 22 left. You can see that right there, runway 22 left. And I'll fly this departure, this procedure, just like that. Here's where the trouble started for me. In the MSFS flight plan, there's a different transition out off the departure than it is in the flight plan that I built at Sembri. So when the aircraft got here, because the departure is the same, the procedure is the same in both plans, the MSFS plan and the Sembri plan. Both are the same. So the aircraft is flying just perfectly until it gets here to this point right here, Highland. 
This is the transition from a departure to the en route. So when, when my airplane got here, it's looking now, it's like, I see two, I see two transitions. Not really two transitions. I, when I, when it hits the en route phase and it looks at the next waypoint that it, that it needs to go to, to establish itself on the flight plan to San Francisco, when it got here, right there, Novon, this Novon is part of the Simbrief plan. There's another waypoint after the transition. There's another waypoint in the MSFS plan. So when the airplane got here, before it even got here, it says, I'm confused. Which waypoint do you want me to fly to? The one in the MSFS flight plan or to the one in the Simbrief flight plan? It can't figure it out. So what it does the airplane just starts circling because it can't figure out which one to go to because it's got two of these waypoints after the transition to the en route. It's got two of these waypoints it's looking at, one in MSFS and one in Simbri. So it just starts circling. When I saw my aircraft circling, it's like, what's wrong? <laughs> what's going on? Why is my aircraft circling? And then I finally figured it out. It's because it's looking at two the FMC and the LNAV system is looking at two waypoints after the transition out of the departure and onto the en route. It's looking at two different waypoints and it can't figure out which one to apply to. So what I had to do, let me close this, is just stop and go back main menu and redo everything from the start. And what I mean by redoing everything from the start is don't create a full-blown flight plan in MSFS. All you have to do is want my departure, which is Boston. Select it. What gate am I parked at? Okay, we'll choose that one right there. Where am I going to? I'm going to San Francisco, ASFO. And where am I going to park? I'll just pick anything right there. And then go fly. Don't do the high altitude. These are fine here because these three points, waypoints here, are a part of the Simbrief plan also. So no problem there. Just click fly. Just click fly. Fly. Power up your aircraft. And when you get to that portion where you're going to start configuring your flight plan in the FMC, go ahead and download your SEMBRIEF plan. Now there's no confusion to the system. When the aircraft departs the departure at the transition, which in this case is Highland, and it wants to go to the next waypoint, no bond, well, that's the only thing that it has to look at now instead of looking at two different uh, uh, points along the way. So ready to fly, power up the aircraft, do your flight planning. But that had me baffled for a bit. Why is my aircraft circling? And guess what? It would do that at every waypoint. If I forced the airplane to keep flying, it would do that at every waypoint. It would get to the next waypoint and do the same thing. Start circling because it can't figure out which way it needs to go, which point it needs to go to because I have two different um, flight plans here. So that cleared it up for me. And uh, if any of you guys out there are flying also or you're thinking about flying and you're going to do it with MSFS, there's how to solve a problem of not configuring a flight plan in MSFS. If you're going to do SimBrief, just do SimBrief. All right, so I hope this video made that clear. Thanks for watching, and uh, we got more videos coming at you. Again, this is a learning process for me with um, uh, MSFS, totally different uh, uh, operations uh, within uh, the flight sim from what I'm accustomed to with uh, Flight Simulator 10. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.